Hey, how are we all doing? Welcome to this NLive video lead tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a, a cutout effect or a parallax effect. So where our subject um, increases in size and the background sort of decreases in size. So it makes a, like a, a weird sort of effect. It's really, um, it's really cool. But in order to do this, I'm going to need to use um, Photo Leap. So, um, and that's a, a, another um, app. That um, that light trick supply. So let's let me let me let me show you what I'm talking about. I can actually select the timeline here, and I could just click the little photo leap um, link in the bottom there, and that would obviously open photo leap. But what it would do is this is going to edit what's in my timeline, and basically I want to replicate what's in my timeline or cut out something from a timeline. Um, but I want to keep the background as well. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to use that shortcut link to Photo Leap. Instead, I'm going to go to my app switcher here, go to Photo Leap here, start a new or open a new, a new project. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the little eraser. If you're not, this is not a tutorial on Photo Leap. This is just to show you how I'm going to do it. One thing that Video Leap's missing for me is a free Bezier tool that you could cut out a mask, I suppose. Um, but what you have to do here in Photo Leap is we have to go to the little eraser. So just make sure we've got the... Um, this is going to be free for you, by the way, because we're just going to use one layer. So I'm going to just click the little eraser in the corner. I'm just going to start erasing the background. You can do this with your finger if you're using iPad like I am. You can do it with a pencil, but I'm, I prefer to do it with my finger. And what you can do is you can zoom in to get better, um, just better control over what you do. And that's probably what you're going to want to do because the background, especially on this image, the background is quite close in color to the coat on the subject that I'm using. It's going to have quite a tough time selecting where the subject ends or the subject finishes and the background begins. Because, not see, so I made a mistake. I made a mistake, just click the back button on the left-hand side. Um, the tool locations are pretty much the same as, as Video Leap. So if you're familiar with those, you'll be familiar with these. Just works on a layer system if you've not used Photo Leap. So I'm just going to go around, and it does, does quite a good job. These outer sides there, I can zoom right out, and, and you can do these quite quickly with, with your finger. So make sure you've got them all. I normally do these real quick and then when I get close to the subject I then slow down and start to zoom in and do little bits at a time of the outside bits and then that's done I click the little export button up the top right hand side I want to export it as a PNG or a JPEG of course PNG because I don't want the background there um, so that's that I can then go back into my app switcher go back to video leap and then what I can do is I can um, click mixer and bring that um, image in there. So there's that image look and I'm just going to scale it so it's exactly the same there or thereabouts as the person behind. So let me just um, let me just remove this for now from there. What I want to do, I want to make this a little bit bigger because the background I'm going to zoom out. Um, I'm going to keyframe it and we're going to zoom it out. So now I'll bring that the subject back in and we want to make it the same size there or thereabouts because this is the one I'm going to zoom in. So now it just looks like we've got one subject. So let's start with the background. Let's um, select the background layer, go right to the start, click the little diamond button to keyframe and then we're moving up how many seconds? We um, three seconds, we probably want to make this, what, five, six seconds just to just to give it, just to get a bit of an effect. Five seconds, and I'm going to pinch and squeeze to zoom the image, zoom in the image, but not so the image comes over the edges. So I'm happy with that. And then I want to go to my top layer. I'm with my top layer. So you can already see, look, this image, the background is moving but um, when I remove my top layer, I'll lose it. So let me just drag that out to the same size. So the background is moving and you get this nice effect here like this. So it might be that you're just happy with that, but just to make it a little bit more of a, um, a sort of visual 
um, effect. We're going to keyframe the top layer. So I've selected the top layer, keyframe the top layer, scroll all the way to the end. And this I'm going to zoom up, but not too much. It's important that you don't do it too much. Otherwise, it really does look um, a bit over the top. And if you put some music to this, let me just play this through put some music to this and you get the right kind of image. You put some, you know, you could put some fireworks or something in the background. I don't know, whatever you want to put in the background. It will give you a real nice effect. You could even change the um, the color of the background, I suppose, by putting a filter on it. So let's like sort of, let's just have a look and see what it looks like. So now I'm just going to put some music on this and see what it's like. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Just keep checking out and um, see the video at the end and I'll, um, I'll catch you all soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.